Alright, I'm here in the mountains. Um, it's five o'clock, kind of late to start a, uh, kind of late to start a hike because, uh, it gets dark at around eight and I got a couple hours of hiking to do so. My shelter isn't super, uh, complex or anything, so it should be pretty quick to set up. So if I leave now, I should be good. So it's probably, yeah, it's early, it's early September. But yeah, this trail, I think it's about, I think it's about a four or five kilometer trail and just leads up to this beautiful valley under this mountain. And oh, you, got, you guys will see it when I get there. This is the uh, little creek that runs through the whole valley. Such a beautiful creek, perfectly clear water, extremely clean, ta good tasting water. I don't even boil this water, I just drink it. It was fine last time, never got sick. All right, here's the old camp. We uh, we built our last shelter, so got a lot of leftover wood here. I'll probably be using a few of these pieces as uh, as poles for my shelter, but uh, other than that, it's mostly just gonna be firewood. <laughs> There's our fire pit we tried to cover up. <sighs> so I'm just out here looking for uh, for poles for my homemade tent, like teepee poles kinda. And I brought my saw and my shovel with me. I got this piece here, and the shovel is good for clearing branches. Let's take a house tour. It overlaps a lot to keep the rain out. It's got a little hood here so it can vent any gases. Yeah. Plenty of room to lay down. I got plenty of space. I got my silly little tripod thingy holding it up. It's not the most secure, but it'll do. I can already feel it. It just feels a lot warmer in here. The TP shape is the is the absolute best shape for keeping warmth in. So I got this uh, disposable Coleman poncho just uh, as my ground sheet. So. Keep my sleeping bag off the ground, keep the moisture off me. Uh, and then behind me I have all this open area over here for a little uh, pit for my hot rocks. And I can tell you, it's just warmer in here. Alright, here's something I didn't think I would see. They're pretty hard to see. Yep. Grizzly bear. Here are the claws, here are the toes. There's the main foot pad. That's weird, I don't know what this claw over here is. It might just be double step. And then here's another one and another one. And uh, I'm not really sure how fresh they are. This is, I mean, I was here a few weeks ago and I could still see some of my tracks on uh, my way up here. So who knows how old they are, but yeah, kind of scary. That's okay though. I have my big Rambo knife. Got my firebox. Last time we were camping here, it got uh, pretty difficult to light a fire because it was raining and snowing in the middle of summer. So yeah, it was not easy getting a fire going. So I put this little box together. Should have everything I need to start a fire easily. Got some fire starter bricks here, a lighter, some matches. It's really windy. My fire starter didn't work. I'll try fluffing it up. My matches keep going out. I may use my lighter. <laughs> it's hard to keep a lighter going in this wind. This fire starter brick doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, that's promising.
I need more sticks. There we go. All right, here's my little camp. I got my shelter all set up. I put some uh, logs around the base to hold it down. Uh, I leaned some on the side to pat down the loose spots. I got my fire going with my little wind blocker. Uh, I'm not sure how much good the wind blocker is doing, but fire looks like it's going pretty good. I have a very big, dense pile of wood, which will surely last the night. And yeah, I just got all my junk kicking around here. I might not make any meals tonight. I might just eat some snacks and go to bed because it's been a long day. But for now, I'll just enjoy this beautiful fire. I lied, I actually am gonna make a bit of food. I just have some uh, some Skittles, some Mountain Dew, Cliff Bar, and some Itchy Ban. Uh, I put away all the other food far away from camp just for in case of bears. Um, yeah, I just got my water starting to boil. Something I bring is a uh, leather welding glove because honestly you can reach in anywhere in the fire the hottest burning log and just grab it and move it and as long as you don't hold on to it for too long the welding glove is fine and your hand is fine so if you like camping consider bringing a welding glove. All right food's done got some itchy band noodles pretty uh pretty dark out I think it's about it's 8.52. This is about when I thought it would be this dark, so... Looks like everything worked out. Had plenty of time to do everything I really needed to. Now I'm just gonna enjoy my noodles. So I'm in the shelter right now. I got the door open, the fire is radiating its heat into the shelter, so I put uh, put one rock in the hole so far, and uh, it was a pretty small rock, it kind of got cold already, so I don't know, but it's not too cold outside, even, even if I didn't have the fire out there, it'd still be pretty warm in here, I don't think it's gotten cold yet, it might not get super cold tonight, which might be good, so I'm kind of just hanging out in my sleeping bag. Uh, I got all my stuff in the shelter. So you can't see anything because it's dark in here. But I got my stuff all in here. And yeah, I'm just going to chill out, listen to some podcasts. And uh, before I go to sleep, I'll bring in some other, other some more rocks. And I'll fall asleep. So I just brought in this rock from the fire. And it is warm, like really hot. Up here at the top of the shelter, it's like really warm. Down here, it's a very good even temperature. And uh, all thanks to this rock, and this is a really big rock, so it'll probably stay warmer for a lot longer. And I have a few other rocks in the fire outside. My Crocs on. Very cool. I put my shovel here, just in case a rock blows up. Hopefully this shovel deflects burning rocks. Here, I'll actually put my cooking pot there too. There. Hopefully if anything, uh, here is. hopefully if the rocks blow up, they hit these uh, metal pieces instead and don't go straight through my head. Yeah. It's smoking just a little bit, but it's nothing serious. It's all venting out the top. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed now. Good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone, I made it through the night, um, 
I woke up at about 11, it's about 11.15 right now, I just woke up, um, yeah, I'd say I probably went to sleep, probably fell asleep at around 2.30, I think that was probably just because of caffeine, um, and also it was kind of a, it was a really windy night, like, all night the wind was just like blowing on the tarp really hard, because I pitched it kind of loose, which I should have done, so, yeah, that kept me up, so, I might do another night, I kind of want to, just so I can fix up my shelter, make it a little more tight, and I'll have a better night, night tomorrow, I also kept sliding down, because, uh, the sleeping bag in contact with this, uh, poncho is, like, really slippery, so, I might do, like, a spruce bow bed, it's kind of a smoky morning, let me show you guys, there's kind of a bluish haze everywhere, it's, it's definitely smoky, it kind of smells smoky outside, no crazy wildlife happenings, except for, like, a few minutes ago, there was, like, here, I'll show you, there's like a squirrel over there going ballistic, like yelling and stuff, making its noise. And they usually do that when a predator is nearby. Although humans do count as predators for squirrels, so they do that for people too. But then I heard like a pretty sizable like footstep or like something over there, movement in the bush. But that was uh, a little while ago, and I don't I don't really know if it was anything. It's really windy, so it could have been anything. So. Now I'm just going to make some food. Cuban style black beans and rice. Uh, camping meal. A little tasty. Smells really good. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to let the fire die out. Because uh, I don't want it being super smoky. So... Still trying to decide if I'm going to head home today or not. It's a tough decision. It's a tough place to leave. Alright, I'm headed out on a little day hike. I think I might head home tonight maybe. I'll try to get back to the car before dark, but I want to still enjoy the day out here. Uh, I got all my things I need. My first aid kit and my knife, my uh, bear bangers and my... Uh, satellite thingy. I also got my shovel in case I need to uh, dig a hole or honestly this shovel I think is probably the best combat weapon ever invented. I could probably take on like any animal, any land animal except for like an elephant or like a rhino with this shovel. It's like man it's such a cool shovel. You can swing it, you can chop it. Yeah. So I'm gonna go now. There's a lot of quartz in these rocks up here, and uh, quartz is usually where gold is, so I'll keep my eyes open for rocks like this and see if I can strike it rich. So I'm on my, my way back down the other side now, following this beautiful little creek, and this is just such a wonderful forest. On this side, I've never been to this side, so... Yeah, it's just awesome. We'll see what the other valley looks like once we get down there. It, it might be closed in with uh, trees or it might be wide open like the other one. But we'll see when we get down there. Uh, this is old logging. This is like really old logging. All these trees here, these are very old trees. These are, I mean, I couldn't guess the age on them. I'm not a biologist, but... These trees weren't here when these trees were cut, so yeah, we're in the foothills, or I mean, I guess we're in the mountains now, but we're right next to the foothills, so this would have been one of the first areas to be logged, like on the Rockies, so there's a lot of probably like really old logging around here, so yeah, just something to consider. Looks like the forest has recovered very well. So I think we're kind of in the main clearing now. There's a few clearings, sparse. There's little creeks flowing through most of them. Over there, it looks like there's like a little pond or like a little lake. 
Here is our lake. <laughs> It's a little swampy. <laughs> got some mud over here. I wonder if there's any footprints. Ooh, I don't know if I want to step on that. Wait, I might sink through. All right, there's deer footprints. Not sure what that one is. Too old. Whoa, yeah, it's muddy. Um, ooh, that actually, oh, I know what this is here. This, uh, either a small grizzly or a black bear, but those are old tracks. I think there's tadpoles in here. Yeah, I think there is tadpoles. Cool. Maybe I should look for some frogs. We'll be eating good tonight. All right, I think I'm gonna head back over to my side. I know on the ridge behind me over there, on the other side is a big lake, like a pretty decent sized lake that there's fish in but it would be at least a couple hours to get back over there and it's already almost four o'clock and uh well if i went over there it would probably be about six o'clock when i get there it gets kind of dark at like eight so i'd have two hours to get back over two ridges to my camp and then hike back to the truck so i don't really have time to do that so maybe on a on a future hike, I'll come to this spot on the first day, and then next day I'll go over to the lake. Cause uh, yeah, I guess the more south on this on this road at least on this range, the more south I go, the more kind of remote I get. So I really like this place. Like it's like so close, but like all the like the vegetation and stuff is just like so much different than my valley over there. I like it. I get Bass Pro Shop vibes from it. You know, they got like that shooting gallery with all the stuffed animals and stuff that you shoot the laser guns at and they got the stuffed trees and animals everywhere. That's what this place feels like. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back over to my valley. All right, so I've been climbing. Back that way is my valley. Down there is the valley I was just at. Look at that view. Forest is pretty big. I'm gonna see if I can climb over this range here. Might have an even better view on the other side. Oh yeah, we're really high up now. I could probably climb that mountain but I don't feel like it. Just take my word for it. <laughs> I wanna see what this bowl slopes down into. Over that is uh, British Columbia. All right, kinda of slopes down. Just nothing kinda. Of. Back into the forest. It's so windy up here. Wind's blowing me right to that edge and that's super steep. Head back the other way now. Coming down this mountain, I can actually feel my ears popping because of the elevation. So yeah, there's this trail. That kind of goes down from uh, the ridge I was on. There's a couple saw marks and stuff, so definitely a trail made by people, but it's amazing. I was really high up. I don't think I've ever climbed that high on a hike. Your 
footsteps over there. Hello? Something's up there. Good thing I'm going down. All right. Just over 24 hours since I got here. I'm gone. <laughs> Squirrel eating a nut. See ya. All right, I made it. <laughs> I beat the dark. There's my truck over there. So basically, that mountain over there is the one I was camped under. We got some uh, bulls fighting. Big uh, cow herd on the side of the road. These guys almost ran out in front of me while they were fighting. I had to slam on the brakes for them. Look at them. Those are some freaky animals. They're huge. All right, fellas. See you later, guys. Move! Move! Galloway!